Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome to Iron Mind Blocks, another video for you guys today. So in this one I'm going to be testing and benchmarking this. It's a GTX 1060, and this one is kind of um, an uprated and improved edition. Uh, so it's kindly provided by Asus UK, and it's the Republic of Gamers uh, Strikes version. So I've got the graphics card here, and it is quite a bit of a beast graphics card. For something that's mid-range, they've really gone kind of over top with the fans and the heatsink on this. So it's a triple fan design, uh, see the heatsink there, it runs right across the whole length of the card. And the card length is significantly longer, it's probably almost an inch to two inches longer than even the longest uh, graphics cards that I've tested in the past. You can feel the weight of it as well, it's quite uh, a heavy GPU. But anyway, we're going to be testing and benchmarking this GPU on all the common uh, coins that we mine, so Ethereum, Zcash and Monero. In addition to that, I'll also test it with the nice hash miner, so that'll give us some extra um, benchmarking details on coins like Pascal. Uh, I'll also use it for dual mining, so we'll do like Ethereum and Decreed. And uh, I'm also going to test it mining um, Nexus with the SK miner. So that's a, another coin that I've been mining a lot recently with uh, GPUs and also CPUs. So it'll be interesting to see how this performs um, across a whole wide range of algorithms. So I'll be doing testing, getting the benchmarks and also the, um, the power consumption, and I'll be sharing all that data with you. So let's go and um, Get started. I've now fitted the GTX 1060 to the test rig that we're going to be using. I also added in, I just placed it in loosely, the 1050 Ti from yesterday's uh, testing, just to give you kind of a bit of scale um, to this. Let me remove that. So that was just placed in there. So that's the twin fan design. This is a triple fan design. You can see it goes right under the main sort of chassis. So if you do buy this GPU or you're considering buying a design like it, make sure your case supports the, the full size. It's a really, really long graphics card. Okay, now let's do the first power up. And then we'll go on to our benchmarking. Reach over and grab the button there. It also has um, RGB lighting, so it'll be interesting to see the lighting on here a little bit. Okay, pretty cool. Let's move on to testing. Okay, so you should be able to see on screen we have the Claymore's Dual Ethereum Miner. So I'm currently mining in Ethereum only mode and it is the version 9.8 version. The drivers that I'm using for testing are 385.41. We've also got the GPU Z running there as well so you can see the current core clock speed of 2050 and the memory clock of 1949. So I'm going to let the GPU manage its own clock speeds, I'm not going to interfere or change anything, I'm just going to leave it all running stock, but the GPU itself might sort of boost itself from time to time. So you can see I've been running for 24 minutes, uh, the current temperature of this GPU is 59 degrees, uh, the fan speed is currently uh, very low as well, uh, currently at 41%. So uh, the room temperature is quite warm, uh, it's at 27 uh, degrees Celsius. So continuing on with the benchmark, you can see from the Claymore Dual Ethereum Miner, like I say, I'm running in Ethereum only mode, and we're getting just over 20 mega hashes, so we'll call it 20.1. Um, as we go through, uh, I'll be making notes of these uh, figures. And the total power consumption at the moment for the entire rig is 159 watts. So I'll make a note of that as well. So that's our Ethereum mining statistic, so pretty good start. Let's move on to dual mining mode now. Right, so now we're using the Claymore dual ETH miner to mine Ethereum and Creed at the same time. So for Ethereum we're getting 19.4 mega hashes and the Creed we're getting 194, yep we'll call it 194. So once again I'll make a note of these. Uh, the power consumption is up slightly versus Ethereum only using 100 and 170 watts when dual mining. Okay, we've now been mining Ethereum and Library for just a few minutes, and the results are, are recorded uh, Ethereum at 19.3 as an average, although it's just picked up in that last couple of updates to 19.5, and 18.3, again, that's just picked up to 18.5 when mining Library. I also opened up the uh, monitor window just so you can see the power consumption, uh, GPU temperature, uh, the GPU usage um, on the screen there as well. 
So I've got those results and that was at 168 watts when dual mine in Ethereum and Library. So next up it will be Ethereum and Cyacon. So you can see on screen we've been mining Ethereum and Cyacon for about two minutes. So the power usage uh, picked up, we're using slightly more power mining this uh, combined algorithms. We're using 181 um, combined, so system total. The Ethereum hash rate is 19.9 and Cycoin we're getting 199, 198, those kind of um, numbers there. So that's uh, all of the Ethereum testing, the Ethereum dual mining modes. So now I'd like to test um, Zcash and see what the performance is like there. I'm expecting some really good uh, performance when mining Zcash. So let's um, start up that. We're going to be using the EWBF miner. So just firing up the miner. So it's actually the EWBF. Is that what I said the first time? I'm not too sure. And the version we're using is 0.3.4B. So we'll let that run for a couple of minutes. So the miner has been running for approximately two to three minutes and we are getting roughly around 315 sols per second. It's going between 314 up to 317, so I'll call it 315 as an average. And the power consumption is 183 watts. So next up we're going to be mining Monero. Okay, so I've just started up the Monero miner. So the miner that I'm using is this XMR miner and it's 0.2.1. The miner has been running for a few minutes now and we're getting a hash rate of 445 hashes per second approximately. So the interesting thing about this miner, and I had the similar results with the 1050 Ti I was testing yesterday. If we look at the chart, we can see the performance or the power consumption. We're using less than 50% of the GPU's power. So I don't really think we're getting the full benefit of the GPU when using this miner. So I'm gonna test it now uh, using the CC miner. We'll just make a note of the power usage. So yeah, 115 watts um, total, which is very low. Okay, so I downloaded the latest version of CC Miner, so it is the version 2.2.1 and tested it, set up the batch file and it's running. And the performance is very much similar to the previous miner, the XMR miner that I had. So they both seem to be based around the same um, coding. So we're getting sl only like one hash more really. So 446, 447, 446 and power usage is uh, roughly around the same, yeah, 115 to 120 watts system total. So that looks like all we're gonna get when mining uh, Monero, but it does seem that we're using only really half the, the GPU's uh, potential. Okay, so next up, let's mine some Nexus. So we're gonna be using the SK miner. Okay, so the Nexus miner is a solo GPU miner. So we've got the wallet already running. It took a little while to get it uh, loaded up. It does take quite a long time. Okay, so now let's mine Nexus. So the miner that we're going to be using is this SK miner. It's version 1.1. It's a solo GPU miner, so it connects to the local wallet, which is already running. Um, let's fire that up. So it's picked up our GPU, obviously GTX 1060, 6 gigabytes. Um, I've already benched this miner on the 1050Ti. So on 1050 Ti, it was uh, hashing at 44. Um, mega hashes. Uh, I've also had it running on my uh, GTX 970 and that gets uh, 65 mega hashes. So it's certainly off to a, a good start, the 1060. So 88, 93. I'll leave it running for two minutes and we'll see what the average is. Right, so we've been mining for two minutes and the hash rate is 97.3. So that's a really good hash rate uh, for Nexus. Uh, it's currently beating my GTX 970, but I think that's because of that seems to overheat for, because the fans don't turn fast enough. That's a completely separate story. Uh, power usage is uh, just gone down a little 185 watts for the total system. So that's really good performance when mining um, Nexus. You can see the, the card is being utilized a lot more. If you look on the graph, you can see the power usage is 85% um, of the TDP. So that's uh, looking really good, making the best of that card. So for the final set of tests, I'm gonna use the Nice Hash Miner. So it's the version two, it's a new Nice Hash Miner that they've released. And it, what we can do is we can benchmark a whole bunch of different coins in one go. So I'll close the uh, Nexus Miner 
And now we'll start up the nice hash miner. So they've recently done a big update and refreshed the uh, interface. So you've got this command line that runs uh, in the background, but it has this nice user interface. So we've got our CPU and we've got the GPU there as well. And then we can do this benchmark. So I want to benchmark all of them and it will go through all of these different algorithms so I can get a much bigger picture um, of the performance of this. So I'm going to run the standard benchmark. It's going to take quite a little while to get running, but obviously you guys won't have to put up and watch the screen. I'll do that for you. Okay, our nice hash benchmarking has completed. So I can't share the power results for each one of the algorithms because each one is done in turn and I can't measure and do it all at the same time. But what I do have for you is the hash rates for each one of the algorithms that was tested. So let's start from the top of the nice hash miner. So we've got the Lyra 2RE, so you'll be using that to mine coins like Vertcoin, and it is 27.89 mega hashes. We've got Ethereum, so it's Dagger Hashimoto, 19.28, so similar, slightly slower than when we mined using the Claymore's dual ETH miner. Here you've got, uh, again, Ethereum and the Creed. So the Creed looks um, significantly higher. It's reporting, that might be something worth checking, so 18 plus 648. When I tested it with Claymore's dual ETH miner, we got um, 19 and 194. So it looks like to have some improvement there, or again, some sort of um, optimizations. Ethereum and Pascal, 8.94 Ethereum and 698.61 for Pascal. Cycoin and uh, Ethereum, or should I say Ethereum and Cycoin, 18 mega hashes and 230 mega hashes for Cycoin. Decreed solo, or just on its own, 1.94, sorry, 1.96 giga hashes. Library on its own, 197 mega hashes, which is the same as what we got. Um, so no, my mistake. Ignore that. So library on its own, just 197. Equihash, which is your Zcash, uh, 278. So slower than when we tested it with the uh, EWBF miner. Uh, Pasco on its own, 680.9 mega hashes. Sire, 1.2 giga hashes. Blake 2s. Uh, 2.83. I'm not too sure what algorithms use Blake 2S. Um, I know Cycoin uses a Blake derivative or algorithm. I'm not too sure what coins use Blake 2S. It'll probably come to me as soon as I close this uh, section of the video down. So I'll close a nice hash miner now. But I wanted to share those extra results with you. So that covers pretty much everything. I'll try to give you a broad range of um, testing. So that is it. Let's um, Let's wrap up here. Okay, so that is just about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. So in this video, I tried to cram in as much as possible, test that graphics card on a whole bunch of different algorithms to give you guys the best um, view on the type of um, capabilities of this GPU. So if you did like it, please let me know. If you didn't like it or there's something missing, also again, let me know in the comments. Tell me how this video could be improved for you guys and tell me what you would really like to see in future upcoming videos. So I'll leave that with you for this one and I'll see you guys in the next video.